Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Break Talos Principle 2, the only series where I spend as much time as I can figuring out how to play as little of the game as I can. Um, so here we are in the very first area of the game, the first puzzle area at least. Uh, and to start off with, normally you have to come down here and there are two puzzles that you have to do, kind of two introductory puzzles before they even let you into the rest of the area. Uh, we will not be doing that. So what we will be doing instead... A puzzle? Why would there be a puzzle? Let's solve it and find out. Are frogs I people? I have a reoccurring nightmare just like this. Alright, so anyway, we will come up here. You can kind of jump up on top of this. Interestingly, this only works on the left side, or the right side. If you try it on the left side, you just slide right off find that kind of interesting. So anyway, you come up here, you can jump up whoop, onto there, and then make this long series of tedious jumps that I'm probably going to fail at. No, maybe not. First try. They did a really good job of sealing off this uh, area so you can't get out, but they didn't catch everything. We're going to fall down here, right into puzzle number five, I think it is. Yes, it is. And then from here, we just, whoop, there we go. This is our first of eight puzzles done. Oh, uh, what do we do here? So, yep. Just going to go back. Why do I not have a compass? Where's my compass? That's weird. Is my compass enabled? Weird. Normally it uh, reshows the compass when you exit a puzzle. Maybe if I exit another puzzle it'll fix it. Well that's uh, a little annoying. It'll probably fix when I get back to the first puzzles. So anyway, in here, we're just going to do it as normal. I couldn't really find a way to cheese this puzzle at all, and I tried. So we just need to grab that. Turn that off. I tried so much to be able to, like, get another box in here, or to be able to jump on this box on the fan, but there's just no way. We're just going to do this like that. So if anybody's keeping track at home, this is the first puzzle that we solved legitimately. Hopefully there won't be too many of those throughout the game. Okay, so we're going to go and do six. Thankfully I kind of remember where all these puzzles are without the compass. That was a handicap that I did not expect to have. Alright. So this one was pretty easy. We just needed to do that. And then the green and the blue to make the red. to make the blue, and then the green and the blue to make the red. Alright, so it's puzzle number two we've done legitimately. Keep solving these, 1K. Let's see where it leads. Hey, I got my uh, compass back. Oh, yeah, ooh. That's how it must work, is no, because I just solved the third puzzle, right? Six, four, and five. Yeah, I thought it might have been if you do the second puzzle, um, it'll show the compass. But that was the third puzzle. So anyway, we're gonna skip right over to eight. I tried dating them, but the results just don't. So we need to go in first. None of the typical molecular markers are present. 
These walls could have been made 10,000 years ago or yesterday. So we I need to, to do age based on erosion and plant growth, but I'm not sure that this. makes sense given how weird everything else is. Well, you know what? I got a better way of doing this. We're just gonna go all the way around to the back here. This is a pretty common way of cheesing these puzzles, is just finding a way to jump into them. And then just activating their uh, things like that. Which turns off all of the barriers in the puzzle and lets me do more fun things. <laughs> it was not difficult. Okay, we'll just leave that there. We're also going to need the connector. Just like that. I'm going to go back outside of it. Oh. 1K is very talented for being able to jump like this and stand on top of tree stumps. Alright, so we're going to need that connector. And the box. Okay, and we're going to take both of these to three. Set that there, and that way we can jump right in. And uh, I need to go back and get that connector now. Ooh, while I'm doing this, I'm gonna get that spark. So I don't think I'm actually gonna skip any puzzles um, with these sparks, just because it's more fun to exploit them like this. Um, although I do kind of want to use them on one and two here, just kind of for the irony of skipping the very first two puzzles in the whole game. Okay, so I should be able to connect there. Just drop that there. Actually, oh yeah, I remember what I wanted to do. Green and red to make blue. Oh wait, no, I think I just jump in here. So I don't think I can quite connect that, can I? No, I can't, but I can just do this. There we go. Oh yeah, and I can... I forgot about this group call. I have good news. Still no Skip. Soccer. Because I'm new. Okay. Anyway, let's leave again. Get our connector back out. We could even get all the other ones from back here, from out of here, if we wanted to as well. But I don't think I need them for anything. Okay. So we're gonna take the cube over to seven on the far end of the area. I think I need to take anything else in here, so if I just run it ooh, just the right spot, I can get in there. I think it was right here. Yep, there we go. And there was one spot. Okay, we do need an RGB. What was it a connector? I don't remember which of these I need to use. It was the RGB, that's right. So in one of these corners here, 
And yes, I'm aware that sometimes cheesing puzzles like this uh, sometimes is not saving any time or even effort for that matter. Uh, but that's not really the point. Hopefully my keyboard isn't too loud, especially when I'm doing repetitive key presses like this. I will probably be fast forwarding through this. Oh, there we go. You just have to be a little slower and a little more patient. Okay. So I'm going to jump right on this little corner here. Of course, I'm just going to fail to do it now. There we go. We just have to very carefully dip down and take our hexahedron. And we just got to put this in just the right spot. Or we can connect all of them together. There we go. Easy. It was almost as fast as solving the puzzle the normal way. I could not find a way to cheese the first two puzzles. They just did too good of a job at sealing them off from tampering, so that's a shame. But I will be skipping them with the uh, Prometheus Sparks. There we go. So we've got two of them now. Okay, let's go skip the first two puzzles in the game, which surely was never intended to be possible. If it even lets you skip them. Ah, yes you can. Right? Oh, that just unlocks all the things, doesn't it? Okay, it just takes its time. I was uh, worried there for a second, but I'd have to actually do a puzzle the normal way. Just upload. I was just. I mean, you're you're literally taking a picture with your eyes, Melville. I, I don't even know how to make my eyes. A lot of times you can just solve these relevant, by literally just throwing them down and pretty much the first order they give them to you, to like this. True, but he was also mad as a hatter. One man's madness is another man's genius. The bridge ring seems to be fully charged now. Try accessing the tower, 1K. Why am I missing a puzzle piece? Okay, there we go. It just took a minute to update. That was worrying me for a second. solve puzzles. I will break them, thank you very much. Alright, so there's the first area utterly and completely destroyed. While I'm here, let me go reset 8 and get the box out again. I just want to show off the uh, out of bounds trick here before we leave. Reset here. A lot of times they just didn't really think about the uh, implications of putting boxes on fans and standing on them. Anyway. Put that there. I need this over here. Convert the red and the blue to a green. You can just stand on these, and it makes it very easy to jump out of bounds. I can literally just do this, and I'm out of this puzzle. 
it's amazing and I love it and that's why boxes are the best inventions that these robots have ever come up with. Okay, so I just need to grab that. I need to get it back out of bounds again. So we're just gonna leave it right here. So they uh, were smart enough to make it so you can't jump off of these platforms and you can't even jump onto a box from a platform. But we will have a way to get around that uh, later on in one of the south areas. Um, and it's a real game changer, so I can't wait to get there. It really opens up a whole new world of uh, breaking puzzles. So we're just going to jump back up on here. Oop, over. Jumped it. Some of these jumps can be really finicky. This one isn't too bad. There we go. I'll just grab the box. We're gonna take it all the way to the other side. I don't know, should I speed up? Ooh, I've never seen that before. Anyway, should I speed up, like, when I'm running across the map without any commentary like that? Or should I just leave it in? I don't know. So from here, you just put a cube there, jump up, grab your cube, and there you go. Here we are out of bounds, and we can go all the way over here, behind the tower, up to the walls. As expected, it's just kind of empty out here. There isn't anything to look at. Oh yeah, there was one more puzzle we can break. It's one of the optional puzzles, um, the triangle puzzles, and we don't need to do it since we've already solved this area, but I do just want to show it off real quick. There aren't really many notable Easter eggs in this first area. There's a couple, but they're not really that cool. show off one of them after this. Maybe two. Yeah, so this uh, triangle puzzle here. Lost puzzles, I think they're called. You just use this to jump up. And then from here... I don't remember if we need the cube or not, so I'm going to take it just to be safe. Just run over here. Look at that. Another one solved. So yeah. Two of the Easter eggs here don't really require any out-of-bounds uh, exploits or anything. They're just kind of in the main play area. So one of them is back here. They've uh, added these little purple holograms to some areas, and they don't activate and like have any di dialogue like some of the other purple di uh, holograms do. This one is just one of the little mine enemies from the first game. And if we keep going all the way back here... We can see some posters for a Talos Principle movie. Um, they actually reference in the storyline of this game. It's from 1961. So there you go. Let's uh, head back to the transport station and head on to the second area. Yeah, so this first area, I probably spent, I probably spent a good two to three hours um, just kind of very closely inspecting every puzzle in the area and figuring out what I can get out, what I can get into it, uh, unique solutions to solving the puzzles. So I've probably put about six to seven hours so far just mapping out these first three areas of the game. 
Um, but it's really fun. And I think it's going to make uh, the second playthrough much less tedious than it would have normally been if I just played the game normally. Skip. sure you're all excited to check out the next site but while you're there remember that i'm still trying to fix the rest of the transport system you know to get that success rate up a bit maybe there's another one of those all right um so like before uh if you guys have watched this far um so far you're awesome thank you leave a comment if there's anything i can improve upon i'd really like to see some feedback um I don't know how many of these videos I'm going to record before I, before I put the first episode up. Uh, so we'll see. I guess that's it. I have a good one. Peace. What I can do, since that is already twirled open, I'm going to refuse to figure out how this is supposed to be done. And I'm just going to swap this driller here with the cube. I certainly made this a lot harder on myself than it needed to be.